Hello everyone, we're back with another video. This is, uh, this is a different type of video, not a travel vlog. I'm trying to do a game show here. Uh, so today we're playing, we're playing RG Jeopardy. Woo! Yeah, it's, it's RG Jeopardy, it's like a, it's like a mine. Okay, um, let's meet our contestants. Say your name and uh, say, say what you got, what you got on the SAT. You see the smartest SAT here. Mark. Yeah. Hey, my name is Garish. Um, my SAT score, I was an ACT kid. Checks out. Checks out. Uh, yeah, it was about 24 minutes. One, six, two, three. Yeah, I'm Surya. I'm of legal age. And I think uh, after super score, I got it. Two thirty. Okay. Uh, I'm Arjun, uh, and my SAT score was a twenty-two ten. And of course, I'm your host, CJ. And uh, I was, I'm dumb, so I got 2100. <laughs> but yeah, today we're playing Jeopardy. Let's go through the categories first. Uh, we got firstly, spill the tea. Um, these are questions with the answer being uh, a word starting with the letter T. Uh, we got fun and games. These are questions where the answer is a game or a toy of some kind. We got Mamma Mia. These are English words with Italian origins. We got cheers to that. The, the answer will be a beverage or drink of some kind. And lastly, we have band anagrams. These are bands that have been scrambled up. I'll give you the anagram. Band it's so good. Now that we've seen the categories, let's hear how the contestants are feeling. What do you think your chances are of winning the game? Uh, slim to none. I'd say I'd, I'd give myself a solid 50% chance. I'm not, not super confident, but I don't think I'll get left. So as the seasoned Jeopardy enjoyer of the three of us, I think I'm kind of fucked because I have not been watching Jeopardy as a way, but I see that one of the categories is Mamma Mia, so I was trying to get into the mood by listening to some funny Kui, funny Kui Yamba, 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 Yamba. I think, I think that's just enough to jog my memory, so I think it should be good. What do, you, what do you think about the competition? Well, the, I think I don't have a great chance at winning, but uh, if I lose to them, I kind of feel embarrassed, so we'll see. Competition, I for the bandana games category, I'd be confident if Sylvia was up there and he's gonna get that. Um now you went to UNC with the best education, so I'm really, really up there. Well I think Yurish is gonna think he's hot shit and we gotta capitalize on that by dunking on him, so we gotta like hit him where it hurts, you know. Alright, round one. Um Yurish says you had the lowest uh, SAT score and Dumbest here, so <laughs> you, can, you can pick the category first. I will go cheers to that for Cheers to that for 300. You'll hit a hole in one by mixing iced tea and lemonade to create this mocktail. All right, Arjun. What is an all in all? Arnold Palmer. That's correct. So we got Arjun first on the board, 300 points. You can choose the category next. Cheers to that. 200, cheers to that. Taco Bell partnered with this soda brand in 2004 to create the then exclusive Baja Blast. Are you in again? What is Mountain Dew? That's correct. That was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stick to cheers to that for 100. Cheers to that for 100. A 1985 attempt to introduce the new version of this classic soft drink went belly up. No one's gonna answer this. All right, time's up. It was what is Coca Cola? Oh, that's what I was thinking. I was like, they made new Coke. Yeah, they made new Coke in like 1980s, and it was as like close to the yeah. one without cocaine. Okay. Uh, I don't, I don't know if that's what they changed, <laughs> but it was like they I think they started using some other like sweetener inside. <laughs> yeah. Let's try spill the tea for 200. Spill the tea for 200. This brand of hot sauce has been made on Louisiana's Avery Island since 1868. Arjun? What is Tabasco? That's correct. What is Tabasco? I'm gonna spill the tea for 300. Spill the tea for 300. Evaporated milk, condensed milk, and whole milk are used to make this Latin American dessert. Arjun again? <laughs> what is Trace Lake Chase? That's correct. Yeah, I, was, I, was <laughs> I know, I just seems to be walking away with this so far. Uh, let's go, spill the tea for Hundo. Let's 
Build a T for 400. This cut of beef is known as a fillet in the UK and South Africa. Are you? What is the tenderloin? That's correct. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting off Wi Fi. <laughs> What's your next category? What is spilled the er, What is already? I'm already answering. Uh, spilled the tea for 100. Spilled the tea for 100. It's the main spirit in the margarita. You can't let RG. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, tequila? Yeah. And then let him walk away with this. Yeah, she's trying to, like, you know, answer it. Dude, I'm buzzing. Alright, uh, spill the tea for 500. Spill the tea. It's clearing the category. The root of this four-letter vegetable is safe to eat, but its leaves are poisonous, poisonous if eaten raw. <laughs> what is taro? Yeah, man, he's one of the category. I know, that's a, it's a, it's where he has specialty yeah. <laughs> in both places. All right, Arjun, where are you going now? Where are you? <laughs> uh, let's do fun games for 100. Fun games for 100. Dose is the fitting name for the 2018 sequel to this Mattel hard Irish. Finally! What is Uno? That's correct, what is Uno? <laughs> no, I didn't know the answer. What? <laughs> what did they do? Fun and game. Fun and game for 300. The Cobra organization is the enemy of this action figure introduced in 1964. Irish? Well, it is G.I. Joe. That's correct, what is G.I. Joe? Uh, we'll do fun and games. Five. Fun and games for 500. It's a classic toy known in French as a diable de bois. Okay, you know French, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, French is being tested here. <laughs> Do a little person in that you That's time. No one just want to guess? Is it, no is it something in drink, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was Jack in the Box. Uh, I'll do Mamma Mia for 300. Mamma Mia for 300. Do your Italian all. This term in English is derived from an Italian term for the practice of popes giving their sibling sons positions as cardinals. Rich? What is holy game? It's incorrect. Stupid. Anyone else? That guy is <laughs> Correct answer is what is nepotism? Oh. Uh, fortunately, that is a uh, my still, still positive. Jack, <laughs> it's still your category, right? Still me. Yeah. Mama Mia. Mama Mia for 200. This English term for someone who is vain and difficult to work with comes from the Italian words for first lady. Grish? Uh, what is prima donna? That's correct. What is prima donna? Uh, we'll do Mamma Mia for Mamma Mia for 400. The name of this disease in English and Italian translates to bad air in Italian. No one knows? No, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, I buzzed in, yeah. Tuberculosis. That's incorrect. Are you also buzzed? What is that? Correct. Your hand guesses. Oh, I don't know. Alright. Correct. 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 Sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. What is the letter? Oh. Wow. All right. Here it is. Fun and games. Fun and games for 400. There's 20, 225 spaces on this game's board. We don't need to spell it out for you. Rish. What's Scrabble? Let's crack. What is Scrabble? Uh, fun and games. Fun and games 200. In 1957, Wamo's Flying Fist got this name from a supplier of pies in Yale. Uh, Grish. What is Moon Pies? That's incorrect. Surya? What about Kirby? That's correct. I was gonna say Kirby's <laughs> but then I was like, wait, is it a, is it a Moon Pies? I'm so confused. I'm surprised Arjun didn't get that. I mean, this is your, uh, uh, your score. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. The Yale part of me, y'all. Surya, you're, uh, you've got the first question right. Alright. Where would you so like to go for this? Uh, Band anagrams for 500. Oh, he's so, going for he's going for the money here. This is the money he's gonna this play is the combo. All right, band anagram for 500. Late claim. And scrabble the uh, band. Metallica. That's correct. Yeah, that, that, that's, 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 that's that's your free one. Here he's here. Let's go with 400. Oh, what, what's that? Uh, it's a double Jeopardy. 
Daily double, yeah, daily double. Um, I can risk up, with, up to a thousand. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's go for it. Selling no rock. <laughs> yeah, what is the uh, <laughs> Fortunately, it is what is the rolling stone? Uh, Alright, but still your cat your choice for category. Bandana grams for 300. Best ale. I'm so bad at these. Dude, RG tax give you 10 more seconds. <laughs> Still you swear yeah. 200 bandana yeah. grams. Full pinky. Pink. What is pink cool? That's correct. It's better no question about it. Alright, let's uh, let's wrap up the category. This is wrapping up the category. Bandana grams. 100 deep Zen Hill. Rich. What is Led Zeppelin? Correct. What was your category? I'll do Mamma Mia 100. Mamma Mia, finish Mamma Mia 100. The Roman god of metalworking is the etymology for the Italian and later the English words for this geographic feature. Where are you? Who is Dolphin? That is incorrect. Anyone else? What is that buzz? Is it not? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, what is Hulk King? That's correct. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot give you the <laughs> English word for the Italian. Well, we cheers to that for 100. Cheers to that for 400. It'd be weird to put animal crackers in this drink made from ginger ale, grenadine, and a cherry. Arjun? What is a Shirley Temple? That is You're correct. Right. Let's go! Not alcoholic. Right here. Yes, sir. But why is it weird to put, like, why is that? Uh, the. Like, actress Shirley Temple, like, she has a song called Animal Crackers. Uh, Alright, finishing the category here. Cheers to that, 500. This daily drink was originally created in 1934 as an ice cream top. Any guesses? <laughs> Alright, time there. Anyone want to... Is that a new beer? No. <laughs> it, it, you're, it's an ice cream top. The ice cream you're not... It's, it's, uh, a, it's a it's a hard one. I don't I, I think I could have guessed that. Yeah, it is it is a statement. It has a statement, if that yeah. helps. Yeah. It has a statement. Yeah. Texas was a statement. It's red. Big. Is the the drink is red? Yeah. Q? No. Got nothing. I don't know. It is wine punch. Uh, Alright. Like ice cream top in yeah. Alright, that is the end of round one. Current scores are you reached with 700, Swear with negative 600, and Arjun with 2000. I'm also sure that you But it's still anyone's game because next up we got Double Jeopardy. Alright, Arjun, you're currently in first place by a good margin. Uh, how are you feeling after round one? Feeling good, feeling good. Uh, I didn't think I'd do that well, but then I realized I'm playing up against a bunch of geriatric patients who can't buzz in quickly. Uh, so that's kind of my main advantage. I started off hot and then I kind of cooled off, but uh, let's see how the next four goes. Feel, feel okay, feel good. Not as not as bad as I could have done. Like I said, I don't think I'll get last, hopefully. Uh, I, the people who I last the, in place I switched though that I thought was going to be in the order. But um, like I said, started off slow, but we, we managed to find out footing. The difference between where I am right now and where I could be is the buzzer. Like, there's so many questions I can actually buzz in, and it's just that I'm not like fast enough on it, so I gotta pick up on that. Little Birdie tells me someone thinks they're not gonna get last, but I gotta make that change. So, looking forward to a jump in Double Jeopardy. We're back with round two of RG Jeopardy. We got new categories, so I'll go through those with you guys. First one, sitcoms by characters. I will give you three characters uh, from a sitcom. You tell me what the sitcom is. Second category is I'm seeing colors. I will give you two shades of a color and you tell me what the color is. Gen Z before and after. You guys know how before and after works? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before and after is I give you a phrase. Uh, the answer will be basically two phrases put together. The end of the first phrase, um, the word at the end of the first phrase matches the word at the beginning of the second phrase. You've done this. Yeah. Okay. And these are all, all of them have at least one word that is a Gen Z term. So we'll see who's, who's, on the, who's on the, the younger side. Yeah. <laughs> the next one is give me more. Um, these are where all the answers will have M-O-R in order in the word somewhere. And the last one is who did watch trivia. So we'll see. See who actually watches my channel. Who's watching this channel? If you're watching at home, you know, make 
sure you like, subscribe on us. One like subscribe to yeah. the playlist of Jay Vlog Jeopardy <laughs> next time. Yeah. So as uh, as the winner of last round, I'll let you pick the, the category. Wait, no, the person that last is supposed to go. Yeah. I'm going to donate my choices to <laughs> Surya as you're losing. Right, let's go. Um, let's go with I'm seeing colors. Alright, I'm seeing colors for 200. Cannery or mustard? Grish. What is yellow? That's correct. What is yellow? What category are you choosing, Grish? I did sitcoms for 600. Sitcoms for 600. Luke, Jay, Lily. I'm not Caucasian, bro. <laughs> no. Alright, no one's buzzing. It was. What is modern family? Oh! oh well, yeah. Dude, I'll do sitcoms for 800. Say comp for 800, it's open it up. The I didn't get the last one, so naturally. <laughs> naturally, I'm gonna go higher. Uh, Julius, Drew, Tanya. Bro, I don't want to be Dang, yours has a completely uncontested <laughs> category, and I still can't go D. Alright, no one's answering. What is Everybody Hates I Chris? Seen that. Where is Chris? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a giveaway if I tell you Chris. <laughs> Honestly, probably sitcoms for 100. Let's go. Going down a little bit, we can see if uh, anyone gets sitcoms for 400. Okay. Sam, Jamie, Roy. Not a good look. No! Good. What is Ted Lasso? Fire! <laughs> yeah. What is Ted Lasso? 200 sitcoms. Sitcoms by character for 200. Ted, Marshall, Barney. Where are you? What is How I Met Your Mother? It's correct. What is How I Met Your Mother? Where's Mother? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm gonna switch to the scene colors for 400. <laughs> scene colors for 400. Jay or Brittany? For June. What is green? That's correct, what is green? I'm gonna go 600, I'm seeing colors. I'm seeing colors for 600. Thalo or Sapphire? Rich. What is blue? That's correct, what is blue? Uh, we'll do Gen Z before and after for 600. Gen Z before and after for 600. All right, I'm gonna do something special here. No like losing points when we get it wrong. So I'm gonna incentivize guessing. <laughs> Wait, Gen Z stuff? Just for this category. Oh, okay, okay. Gen Z before and after for 600. That's, that's RG tax, you know? <laughs> oh, so, it's like, so the word will be in both. You'll see, yeah. it'll make sense when you see it. Yeah, but I need to buzz it. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. buzz it in like. <laughs> he said, you're gonna get this first one wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Gen Z before and after for 600. A phrase meaning allows someone to continue means a popular southern uh, burger restaurant. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Uh, let him cook it. What is let him cook out? Correct. What is let him cook out? Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> I was just going to say cook out. Okay, so <laughs> you got to get the first part and the second part. Allow someone to continue. Okay, so let So it's close. two phrases put together. Okay, yeah, I got you, I got you. What is, uh, okay, let's do Gen Z 800. Gen Z before and after for 800. A TV program for encouraging teenagers to stay out of jail meets a phrase for very good, often used to describe food. Rish, what is scared straight bussin? That is correct. What is scared straight bussin? Uh, that is 800 points to Girish. Hey, well, you you are you going to lead? Yeah, I like, <laughs> like, can't process the, the uh, Let's do Gen Z 1000. Uh, the, the kingpin right here. Gen Z before and after for 1000. A penalty in hockey meets a popular song about someone who is so skibbity and phantom tax. Wait, I know, oh, oh. I know the second part. I got it, I got it. I got it. I got it. Buzz in, here is it. Yeah. What is uh, high sticking out your gap for the Rizzler? That is correct. <laughs> what is high sticking out your gap for the Rizzler? Uh, the Gen Z for them, dude. Gen Z for 400. Keep it going. Yeah, I did the hockey. Another word for period meets a full way to, uh, meets a way to indicate to someone to not lie anymore. Arjun, what is stop gassing? That's incorrect. Oh, no. <laughs> you gotta get the first part. Stop in the second part. <laughs> what is full stop gassing? Uh, I'll give it to you. What is full stop the cap? Uh, okay. Okay, Gen Z, too. Okay. Okay. So you clean up the category. Yeah. Yeah. Gen Z before and after. A popular TV show about zombies means a term meaning I'm serious. Sorry, huh? Walk, what is Walking Dead? Oh, That's correct. Oh. What is The Walking Dead? The Walking Dead! <laughs> Alright. Right, we're out of the hole. No, not yet. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, go back to seeing colors for eight. Seeing colors for eight colors. Yeah, yeah. Ivory or baby powder? Arjun. What is plot? Alright, let's do seeing colors for 1,000. Seeing colors for 1,000. Seeing colors for 1,000. Alright, 
colors for 1,000. Cotton candy for carnation. Arjun, what is pink? That is correct, what is pink? You colored one? What? <laughs> Wait, what kind of color? It's like a goop pack on my Goop? It's a black and white color. Give me more for 200. Give me more for 200. 12 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. Sorry, yeah. What is the morning? That's correct, oh. what is morning? I see. Let's go and give me more for 400. Give me more for 400. A second year high school or a college student. Or you what is a sophomore? That's correct. What is a sophomore? It's almost on your tail, Garish. Garish's favorite age group. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which one of those? <laughs> hey, what's the design? <laughs> Alright, Arjun, what's your category? Uh, let's go and give me more for 600. Give me more 600. Funny or witty? Grish, what is humorous? That's correct. What is humorous? I guess we will give me more for 800. <laughs> more 800. To captivate or inspire with love. Swear, yeah? What is enamor? That's correct. What is enamor? Swear, yeah, with positive points. Let's go. Back on the board. Swear, yeah, let's check out of the 1,000, give me more. Finishing up the category. Fill in the blank of this meme catchphrase originating from a 2022 super hero movie. It's blank time. Grish, what is it's morbid time? Correct, what is morbid? Has anyone seen that movie? I know. I've seen clips. I've never seen like any part of that movie. So I don't I've even seen know. clips of like the fights and stuff. So like, you know, yeah. I mean, my favorite part of the movie is it's morbid. Yeah, <laughs> but... It's morbid all the way from the movie. Oh, it's the comments I get. Alright, wrapping up the comments by character for 1000. Mary, George, Missy. Arjun. Oh. Young that oh, is young Sheldon. That is correct. What is young Sheldon? Uh, let's see CJ vlogs for good. Alright, you guys both left the best category for last. Of course. 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 What'd you say? Uh, for 200, starting off easy. Alright. Yeah. The shortest video on the CJ vlogs channel. Grish, what is Asheville? I need to see what is the Asheville 2020 vlog? Uh, it'll be CJ for 400. CJ vlogs trivia for 400. This clip is often used as a transition between scenes on the CJ vlogs channel. Gloria. What is static? It's correct. Uh, what is static? Okay. Alright, so we have lots of trivia for. Let's go for a 600. 600. In the Chicago 2022 vlog, this is the first Pokemon card that Alvin unboxes from his McDonald's Happy Meal. So, where are you? What is Pikachu? That's crazy. Oh, actually, what is Pikachu? Bro, you do it. Like, I'll show you this. Got a Pikachu. Let's fucking go. Uh, let's go with 800. CJ Vlogs trivia for 800. Other than me, who has appeared in every video on the CJ Vlogs channel. Swear yeah. Who is Garrett? That's incorrect. Grish? Who is Brian? Correct. Who yeah. is Brian Wu? <laughs> Wait, which one was I missing? I wasn't in, in the California. California. That's why I knew it wasn't me. Give yeah. me the daily double CJ Vlogs for 1,000. Daily double? 1,000. How much do you want to wager? Oh. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I don't feel as confident all these 500. 500? Yeah. It's for Garish only. In the San Francisco 2023 vlog, this person scores a hole in one in mini golf on camera. That's really big, that's just a very big vlog. Uh, I don't think you didn't watch the vlog either. Yeah. Did you watch the vlog? Did you know this? I did watch, I watched the vlog. So what's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a pretty memorable event. Uh, Do you guys? Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, who is a niche? That's correct. Okay. 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 Oh! 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 Okay, that is the end of round two. The scores are now Garish with 7,800, Surya with 1,000, and Arjun with 5,200. All right, Arjun, unfortunately you've lost your lead, but how are you feeling after round two? Uh, not great, to be honest. Um, I think the double those double points really hit hard, especially in the, the Gen Z trivia. I got, I got the after part of the Gen Z for all the questions, but couldn't get them before, so I couldn't close out. Um, but hopefully, hopefully this last little bit I can pull through. All right, Girish, you've now taken the lead after round two. How are you feeling going into I'm feeling, Final Jeopardy? Feeling good, man. I mean, everything shook up what it was supposed to be, you know, like I said. Um, going into Final Jeopardy, I don't know my strategy is. Like I said, I was happy with the second, so I might play safe and just go to make sure I don't lose if I get it wrong. All 
All right, so you're still on lap. You've gotten to a positive place now. How are you feeling after round two? Yeah, we managed to claw ourselves back. Definitely still kind of like lacking on the buzzer here. Just wanted some healthy competition going into the thaws. I kind of need to just wait for everyone else to just like kill each other in final jeopardy and just hope that I'm up to last in. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. All right, here we are. Final jeopardy, final RG jeopardy. Uh. <laughs> So, the category is animated movies. So, I don't think, think for a second how much you want to wait here. There we go, right down to the answer to the question. This franchise has a movie released in this year, the highest earning animated movie franchise of all time. Alright, Soria, what is your answer? Uh, my answer is, what is Spider-Verse? Okay, okay. Um, How much do you wager? How much do you wager? 1600. Alright. Well, let me get the other. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Gert, you can change your answer. I, I'm good, my cut is down. Alright, Arjun, what is uh, your answer? What is Spider-Verse? I wager 5100. Very nice, and Garish, what is your answer? <laughs> Alright, well, unfortunately, none of you are correct. Yes! Oh my god! What is it? Correct answer is what is despicable me? Oh, fuck that shit. Dude, I was. Well, it's a franchise. Spider-Man only has two movies, though. And also, uh, I think Gears is probably close. The Shrek is the second highest ah, franchise. It's not coming out this year. Yeah, it's not coming out this year. I was like, it's a Shrek 5 Google, which is yeah. it this year? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was laughing because it definitely wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means that Girish is our winner of RG Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching uh, RG Jeopardy. If this, if people like this video, we'll do more, more game shows, stuff like that. But, you know, what, what, what do you want to tell the fans? RG, this is your first time on the CJ Vlogs channel. Do you have anything you want to? I'm pretty pissed off. <laughs> uh, no, I had a good time. It was a blast. Uh, disappointed myself that I couldn't pull through with. Uh, the minions, my boys, the minions. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll be back on here for sometime soon. Nice. Any final words for you? <laughs> this is a travesty. This is like the best <laughs> animated series. Posters on the wall. That's yeah. the Poster yeah. on the wall too. That's yeah. the best. No, I'm just hoping I can come back with redemption for next time. So looking forward to the, the next one. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Keep this going. Yeah. Listen to them. And Gersh, winner. Anything uh, you like to tell? So, you know, I mean, it's a fun time, and as a great bowler once said, hate me or like it. Wait, hate me or like it. <laughs> <laughs> you hate me, you still watch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.